and welcome back to Geek Girl TV. This is episode number 19, and I'm your Geek Girl host, Eve Park, the girl who shed her blood and tears for you, the viewer. Well, blood anyway. Sorry for the over-exaggeration, but this week I have the long-awaited footage of the Think Geek Do-It-Yourself Blood Type Testing Kit. We all know that science is sexy. But you might be asking yourself, why? Why is a do-it-yourself blood type testing kit romantic? After all, blood is kind of gross and it transmits disease. So it's generally wise to keep it underneath the epidermis where it belongs. However, knowing your blood type and that of your loved ones can tell you if you are truly compatible down to the cellular level. For example, if your loved one gets into a terrible accident and needs a blood transfusion, can you be there for them in their time of need? See? Isn't that romantic? I'm going to show you just how easy it is. But while you're watching, I hope you'll enjoy the same song we had last week, If I Could Be a Geek by Rick Seberg. So here I am with the do-it-yourself blood testing kit, and we're going to find out what blood type I am today. The first thing I do is I open this little thing that's got the card inside. So I've got my Hello Kitty scissors here. Tight sweaters and blue jeans. That's and, uh, what Terry wore. I'm gonna cut the card inside. I remember her clothes piled up in the middle of the floor. But that was back in high school when I had a great physique. Oh, I don't know what happened. Now she's running with a geek. Shopping. Debbie likes her tan. Debbie digs her Lexus, and she digs her geeky man. But if I enroll in computer school, then she'd remember me. And I think only that one. A negative. I enjoyed my little home science experiment and I hope you enjoyed watching, but it's even more fun to do it yourself. So remember, you can get a pair of blood testing kits at Think Geek for you and your sweetheart. And while you're at it, let me know, what blood type are you? You've probably guessed that I really like the song If I Could Be a Geek by Rick Seberg. He's a very talented musician and you can check him out at rickseberg.com. Notice there's no K in Rick. Or at iTunes. You can buy the song in its entirety and see what other songs he has available. I have another geek themed pod safe song for next week in store that I know you'll really enjoy. But you'll just have to wait and see. A little while ago, I was talking about how I was thinking of re rolling a character specifically engineered for PvP. And I asked you for your suggestions. I also asked you for tips on how to kill those dang blood elf pallies that everybody and their dog rolled as soon as the Burning Crusade came out. You know who you are. Devin answered both. That's why this week's WoW tip comes from Devin. Devin writes, well, what I have noticed lately is that Blood Elves have mostly been rolling pallies. So to beat a pally and all other Blood Elf class is to roll a Shaman on Alliance. But has to be an Enchantment Shaman because you can interrupt all the stupid Blood Elf spells with Earthshock. And Tremor Totems work great for the pesty Blood Elf locks who like to fear. 
Basically, I have a level 66 Alliance Shaman and own everything in PvP just by interrupting and how hard I am hitting per hit and plus my spec. So I think that would be the best PvP thing, I think. Thanks, Devin. That confirms my belief that Shaman may be the best PvP class to roll. What do you think? Who do you think owns the battleground? And what are your PvP strategies, Horde or Alliance? If you'd like me to share them, send them to geekgirl at clevermedia.com, along with any other WoW tips you might have. That's all for this week. But as always, send me your questions, your comments, and if you were a superhero, what would your name and superpower be? I could be the kind she wants to keep If I could be a geek now, The first thing you do is you open this card here. And I think I might need scissors. <laughs> Because it says to cut. <laughs> 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 <laughs>